Your voice, your opinion, your community. Fact TV, free speech, protected. Good morning, Rocky Hanna Dallas Falls, and welcome to The Feed. I'm Mike Smith. Uh, today, Marty's off with her family, but she'll be joining us again next week. Um, today, we have Chad Illingsworth. He's going to be with us, and we're going to be talking about the Carrier Hall of Fame. Uh, first, I'm going to cover for Marty and do a little bit, a few local events. Um, thing to remember is the Bellows Falls Farmer's Market is coming up this coming Friday. I don't know if anyone went last Friday, but it was really good. Um, <laughs> they're doing, it was a good turnout. There were a lot of people there. They have music. They have fresh produce, fresh food. They have a dumpling vendor now who was phenomenal. I uh, had a few dumplings. <laughs> and uh, the, they're cooking fresh pizzas on site. So if you get a chance, um, check out the Bell Souls Farmer's Market. They're going to have, I think they're having music every week, and they're going to have those two food vendors plus others as, as, the, as the year goes by. Very good. Uh, tonight at 5.30 on Wednesday night here uh, in Walpole is the w annual Walpole Block Party. I don't know if people have been to that, but that's also a lot of fun. And the uh, band tonight is going to be The Illusion with John LeWare. This The band is old folks doing old music. <laughs> um, this band, The Illusion, actually formed in Springfield back in the 1960s, I think. Um, it was John LeWare's high school band. They've been together since then playing, and so they're, they're really a treat to go see, and there's food, and there's drink, and there's things to do, so check out Walpole tonight at 5.30. Um, the Ballas Falls Opera House is showing Austin Powers' The Spy Who Shagged Me tonight, so that's your the classic movie. I'm not sure what the actual movie coming up is. They've been really on a roll with good movies. They had um, Jurassic Park is just finishing up, and they had um, Top Gun before that, so I'm not sure how they can follow that <laughs> up, but it sounds like a good, uh, you should check it out. Um, the other thing is um, the Wild Goose Players are opening Hamlet, I believe on the 25th, which is this weekend. It's going to be playing at Main Street Arts through the month of, or through most of the month of July. So check it out. It's Hamlet at Main Street Arts. Uh, but now we're going to talk to Chad. Hi, Chad. How are you Hello, doing? Hello. Good. How are you? Great. Recuperating from alumni weekend, but <laughs> I'm almost back to normal. It was a great weekend. Yes. I mean, after two years of not having alumni, yep. coming back and having it and having the enthusiasm and seeing the parades again was great. I yes. want to thank you guys yeah. for doing all that work. Cause yes. It's I know it's hardly any work at all. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> but um, I had, you know, s people who are in the know said it's one of the best organized events that they've ever been to. That's Not good. just, yeah. So, yeah. So well we can done. come back to that, but we're here primarily. Oh, yes. I, I was back here, I want to say, four or five weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about needing um, nominations for the Terry Hall of Fame. So, back in the beginning of June, we actually met and we mm -hmm. have selected our class. So, we kind of wanted to reveal it. A little bit on this on this um, so we've selected three people to be elected into the Terrier Hall of Fame which will happen September we're not exactly mm -hmm. on a sh shore on the date um, but it'll, it's gonna be in September probably you know at the Legion as we've done before we're hoping we can open up tickets to everybody last year we did just friends and family yeah, of the inductees because of, because of COVID, COVID yeah. so we're hoping that we can open that up to the public at that point um, but I We'll go right into our first inductee. Um, our first inductee will be Billy Lockerbie. Um, um, some people may know we lost him tragically early mm -hmm. last year in a hunting accident. But when we looked at this, Billy lived a sh shorter life than what he would like, but the things that he did were just phenomenal. And what we, what we strive to be is not just an athletic hall of fame. Mm -hmm. So we're more of a, what did you do for the community? What did you do for the kids growing up? Well, Billy was a 1991 BFUHS graduate. He was a star athlete in all three sports of football, baseball, and basketball. He was the captain for both, all those teams his, his senior wow. year. And also, he was in, elected to the Shrine Maple Sugar Bowl and played in that his senior year. He went on to AIC down in Springfield, Massachusetts, and played baseball for four years down there. 
and had a stellar career. But where he really shined was he coached Legion baseball, whether he was assistant or or the head coach, for 15 years. Wow. Yeah. So um, pretty sure that's an unpaid position. Mm-hmm. So he did that. Um, I know he coached his son for maybe two years, but that means he coached that team and those kids for 13 years with not having yeah, a kid. Right, right. Did it that's for the love of the good. sport yeah. and for the love of, of, of those kids. He also coached peewee football for way over 10 years. He was the head coach of the Packers. Again, coached his kid for a few years, but was but there before stayed. and after and just loved it. He loved the kids. I was lucky enough to officiate football mm-hmm. in Pee Wee football and have him on the sidelines, and he just loved, loved the kids. The kids loved him, um, and he also coached Purple Dogs, which is the middle school ba- football team for two years. So maybe a shorter lifespan, but what he did and, and the impact that he had on those kids were just amazing. Great. Yeah. So our second member will be Sue Stack. Sue was a longtime member of, or she was employed with the SU many years, um, worked for the superintendent, most Mm -hmm. of them. Um, She was a class and a very active member of the class of 1973, which they'll be celebrating their 50th reunion next year. Um, But Sue, and if you follow a little bit about Sue, if you follow on Facebook, she is a terrier through in and through out. Really? I mean, she has, I think, uh, one of those fake Christmas trees, and she's got a purple one. And when it's Terrier <laughs> seat time, whether it be state championship, whether it be whatever, she's putting that up, she's posting it. But working with Sue, she has run the Legion dance for the alumni ever, for as long as I know. And I've been involved with alumni probably since 94, 90, or 96, 97. Yeah, yeah. Um, you just ask her, and she does it. She's not an officer. Wow. So she just does it, mm-hmm. and she loves to do it. And so we know, okay, Sue's going to run this dance. You know, so she you gets the snacks to. and yeah, all that yeah. and stuff like that. Um, and I think you probably know her from, from Christmas time, spreading cheer uh, as one of the elves. Oh, really? That go around town. Yeah, yeah. Um, so she just, she loves this community. Mm-hmm. She gives back to it at, no, you know, whatever it is. She, I don't think she knows the word no. Wow. So good for her. Sue's a great asset to this community. Um, our last um, is a, actually a couple. We usually do individuals, but this was nominated mm-hmm. as, a, as a couple. Uh, Jack and Thelma Bronx. Some of you may know the name. Some of you may not know the name. We were talking a little bit before. Um, I knew of the name when I was a, like a little kid. Yeah. But I didn't really know what they did until we went through this process. So, so who nominated them? Um, Jane Barber nominated uh-huh. Jack and Thelma. Um, and, again, it's a community hall of fame. What have you done for the community? And some of the things they've done are just astounding. And I only have a small bit with me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, they had about a five-page letter Wow. with just everything they've done. You know, um, If anybody's familiar with the old Bellsville swim team, they're the ones that started that and coached it from 1959 to 1970. <laughs> okay. That's okay. a long time. It is. Then we all know the, the ski the ski toe, mm-hmm. which has kind of been re- rejuvenated and all that. Yeah, yeah. They started that back in wow. 1953. They were part of the committee that cut down the trees, mm-hmm. put in the rope toe, and they remained on those co- that committee and volunteer again for 24 years. Wow. Um, one of the, they were the f- chair of the first ever Rockingham Recreation Committee. So before we have the wreck up there, they're the ones that started it. Mm-hmm. What I was told in these meetings is they were the Rockingham wreck mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. from the beginning. Um, they also organized Old Home Days from 1978 to 1986. Huh. Um, they held many seats in the Bells Falls yeah. Alumni Association, which is near and dear to my heart as well. Yeah. And then the other thing that we were talking about, what I think was really cool, they chaired the local fresh air program. And if people don't know what the fresh air program was, is back in the day they would bring inner city youth that you know may be at risk or whatever. They brought them up to the countryside, Bells Falls, Westminster, right, all those right. areas, and they lived with families for mm-hmm. you know anywhere from two to four weeks. And That's I remember amazing. being a kid, we had we had some people, you had the fresh air but we also had up. friends. Like we we just we would hang out and you know other families and stuff like that. So. And they're the ones that started that. Wow. 
And I, I really, the list could go further and further for all three of these individuals. Yeah. So. Well, it's amazing to me, especially with the Bronx, because I'm, I'm really new compared right. to, to uh, everyone else that's lived in Bell's Falls for generations. But you know, the context of the the rec area and what it is now compared to what it must have been back in the right. in the 60s and the 50s yep. and even the 70s because the high school wasn't there. Yeah, and I remember we were talking about it, the, the football team. We have the, one of the best fields in the, in the state at Hadley Field now, mm -hmm. but they used to play in the, where the outfield where the, the, the um, junior league baseball plays now. Plays now. Yeah. Yeah. That's where they used to play football. Yeah, and school. so they must have, that complex there must have been like where – where football teams practiced, oh, where yeah. they, you know, where everyone did everything. So yeah. the idea of putting the rope toe there yeah. and having a pool with the yeah. swim team, yeah, that's just, that's yeah. just and amazing. they were what my understanding is they were the or, they were the orchestras of that. Yeah, yeah. And you know it's taking shape now with a you know different building. For me, I remember the big old building. That yeah, had, so the, that's they what tore I down. Too. But like they orchestrated that. They were that's, the first ones. Yeah, that's really so. amazing. So quite a good group this, yes. this year. Huh? Yeah. So again, um, we'll 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 announce on Facebook and our webpage and all that. But you know, we're looking at the beginning of September. We got to nail down the dates. What we like to do is coordinate it with a football game. So we we'll honor them at halftime of a football game. Oh yeah, that's um, nice. And what we're looking to do this year, if we can, is do that on one day. We've always had a two day thing, mm -hmm. but we're going to try to do it to a one day thing, so families can, you know, it's not a two day commitment; yeah, it's yeah, a one day so commitment. That's great. So yeah. and then and then have a ceremony later that night. That's so. really cool. Good, so, good. Thank yeah, you. Another yeah. job well done. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's really good. So. Let's talk a little bit about alumni. Alumni, alumni yes. Um, it, it was just, uh, for me, it was a whirlwind week, five, six, seven days. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I just yeah. got my bearings. Um, I was lucky enough to have a daughter who graduated from the class of 2022. Congratulations. Thank you. So that all started on Wednesday night. Um, and I, I'll talk about it, but I told you before, I've been going to class nights for many years. I've We, we did Terry Hall of Fame inductions at class nights. I mm -hmm. sat there. I've given that away my sister's scholarship, so I've been to about 30 or 40 class nights, and this was probably by far the best, and it wasn't about my daughter. It was about, um, I think it's Jimmy Ruggiero, yeah, whose son Vinny Vincenzo. passed away early. Yeah. He, he, his freshman year, he would have been a member of the class of 2022. And to the surprise of the kids, there's a lot of kids that night that will sit there. We, we give out thousands and thousands of dollars in scholarships, mm -hmm. but many kids sit there and don't get to go up on stage. They don't get an award, they yeah. don't get a scholarship. And it was his determination that said, okay, first of all, we gave my son's scholarship out, which was like, I think, four to $6,000, mm -hmm. right? To, I, I think, two, two kids for 4,000. Um, but then he gave everybody $50 in a certificate so that every kid would get something that, that night. Huh. And to me, in the, the 30 some odd years I've seen class night, that is the most special, heartbreaking, and, and just memora memorable mm -hmm. I've ever seen. Yep. So I want to thank him and his family um, for that generous. Yeah, that was just yeah, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, then we, uh, you know, obviously graduation, but um, we had the, the Waypoint dance. Right. Which yeah. was a huge success. So people were able to, again, everything was back to normal as possible. <laughs> you know, we had the Waypoint dance, we had the Legion dance up there too at the same night. So lots some of, people- Lots of um, um, reunions. Yeah, Saturday, lots, lots of, of reunions. We had three three fifty year class reunions. So the class of 70, 71, and 72 all had reunions. Um, and then Saturday, the parade, which is really the highlight of Sunday the weekend. Parade, Sunday, yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. Sunday, the parade, the highlight of the weekend. Um, back to the floats that we've always had, 16, yeah. 16 floats. We had, you know, we had award winners. We had beautiful, like 72 did a nice float with mm -hmm. all the state championships, you know, yeah, from, that was really because they were one. the first class of Bellows Falls Union High School. Yeah, that's the other. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, and then we had the younger classes, like the 2020 and 2021, who hadn't been able to ever be in a parade, and they were just having a blast. And yeah, that's what yeah. it's all about is really is having a lot exactly. of fun and, and just, you know, 
come back more and more. And you, you hear everybody after, oh, I've already got our fault planned out for next year. We got this. We got, you know, and I, some people it, it like, hey, what effort. are you going to do? And they're like, we can't tell you yet. Yeah, it's it takes secret. a lot of effort. Like so. those guys in 75 are crazy. Yeah. I mean, they just, I don't know what they do, but they're Floats are always they start. Just, they start, I think, tomorrow I for think next for, year. Yeah, I was thinking they may have started last <laughs> they year might have. next year. They might have. They just really have some I think I had one design. class told me that they have more done for next year's float than they Good do day. for this year's float. <laughs> for the, because next year is a year for them? or, or I, No, I think. Yeah, or just, is it an off year? It's, a, it's an off year, and this year was a reunion year for this class. Ah, interesting. And so they were like, okay, we're going to go slow, but next year we're going back. Yeah. It, it was a class of 2007. They won the last cup, which was oh, two years good. ago. Yeah. So yeah. they took kind of a year off with a reunion, but they said, we're coming back. Oh, and that's we, great. We got more done for yeah. next year already. So. But that's it's just amazing, the enthusiasm that, yeah. that comes out. And they had people from the class of 1946 oh, up yeah. through the, the 2022 yeah. graduates. It was we just, always have those. You know, people want to be yeah. a part in um, – they ride in a car, convertible, bug, truck, whatever it might be, and we all, we always want people to, you know, those those yeah. older classes, um, contact us, because you know we we want people, we want this parade to be big. We want, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I chaperoned the class of 2022. I walked with them down the parade route, and it was there were huge crowds, yeah. which was good to see. Yeah, it was good to see. So. Wasn't it? it was really neat. Well, for me, it was neat that they had. The, the class that was the last class in the middle school and then the first class yeah. in the high school were both there yeah. and they were right next to each other and they were yeah. sort of like no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, it was really yeah. pretty cool it's kind of neat you have that 72 is the last class the first class in the union high school and this year's class was the 50th class yeah. out of the union high yeah. school so really a lot, neat. lot of yeah. special numbers and meanings and mm -hmm. you know the, the you know I know one person who was in the class of 72 has a granddaughter in the class of 22. Oh really? So it's kind of neat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. So and I heard you um, chaperoned class or uh, project the, project, project grad, grad. Yeah. which is a great thing. Yeah, they were for lucky. Who don't, does anyone not know what project grad is for that? Well, yeah. it's 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 a big party. It's um it's something that's been done for years. It's an overnight thing, and they haven't had it for years. Yeah. And it's a year-long fundraising effort by the senior class's parents mm -hmm. who try to fundraise as much as they can. And basically what they did was they were able to board a bus at 930 from the high school. They traveled to Claremont, went to the bowling alley, oh, bowled for about hey, an hour and a half. I didn't know where it was. Ate about 50 pizzas. <laughs> I mean, those kids were, I mean, but again, they were up at the high school at 530 and they hadn't had anything to eat. Right, right. So yeah. they were starving because we had that nice parade around town yeah, for the seniors. Yeah. Um, and then, so they went there and then uh, around 11:30, they boarded the buses again and went over to the Claremont Rec Center, where they had a pool, basketball court. Nice. Just we had tons of food, but all of that fundraising helps is to to rent those things. But then on top of that, they had a hypnotist come in. Oh, neat. Um, we had <laughs> um, black light volleyball. So we in the basketball court, we turned off all the lights. Uh huh. And then everybody had glow in the dark tape. They had black lights, and they were playing volleyball in the dark with all they could see was this ball and, and maybe the, their, and the, yeah, the, the, the wrists their and stuff like and that. that. Um, they had uh, inflatable obstacle course, which that one kicked my butt. Really? So if you think of those big jump bouncy houses, yeah, yeah. Well, they have the same things, but they're obstacle courses, and they're about a hundred feet long, and you got to roll through it. And there's things, you know, pylons that will come and hit you in the face, <laughs> or you got to go up and over this, and then all that. And I got, I've got challenged twice, lost twice. <laughs> oh, is it a one-on-one? -on -one yeah, yeah, there's, it's like a course, so two go at oh, a time man. and see who comes out first. So <laughs> it was, you know, that kicked my butt too the next day. Little, my arms are a little sore. You know, when you're, when you're 46, a little bit overweight and out of shape, you know, it's... <laughs> Um, that whole staying up all night and partying yeah. with 18 year olds yep. doesn't work. Yeah, they had a nice little photo booth. So, <laughs> all that money that they raised, oh, they had laser tag too inside the place oh, nice. too. So, you know, so they, what they do is they stay there and then we board a, they board a bus at 5 30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I only think maybe two people slept the whole night. I'll bet. Um, and then they, they bus them to the Legion and the Legion fed them breakfast. Fed them breakfast. Nice. And then nice. they all got gift cards to Allen Brothers and stuff like that. 
Right. And that was all from the money from the community, really, because it's the parents that fundraise it, but it's the yeah, community, yeah. It's, the, it's the individuals, it's the organizations that all chip in and give money or cook breakfast right, right. and all that. And this was this sort of prevents that wild, it takes that energy that of graduation and transfers it into a nice, yep. safe, non-alcoholic, supervised, supervised non, yeah. you know, and so, I will tell you this, I the class was super well behaved. You yeah. know, they, they, a lot of good kids. Nobody gave any chaperones, parents, any kind of crap. Oh, that's great. It was, you know, they're well behaved. They're well behaved in the parade. Um, they were. Everyone uh, was. They, they were handing out candy, and they loved it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's uh, just something that it's so refreshing that even, af- you know, after the years, and yeah. that still came together. Really uh, great. And, and, and it's, you know, not having it two years, it reminds you. How lucky we, we are, and how much yeah. fun it is. Yeah, exactly. So you don't want um, to get complacent. So as we talked uh, about alumni, real quick, I want to thank the officers, and hopefully, I won't forget anybody. But okay. Stacy Reeve, who was the president, mm-hmm. Heather Murphy Hicks was the parade chair. Murphy Hicks, her daughter was the the um, she she did the dances. Karen Studley was our in town dues. Um, then we had uh, Jessica Illingworth was our. our She's our secretary, so she does all the mailings and all that. And then Darlene Kelly is our treasurer, and she does all the money, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know. And with those group of individuals, that's how the, the weekend yeah, came yeah. across. So we only have a couple minutes left, yeah. but um, is there anything you would say that the, the, the alumni – association needs or wants that the community can help with we need volunteers we need young blood we need volunteers so whether you're you know i I, we're not picky i mean we 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 have what's called member at large so we have people who go through the chairs and it will be the officers Mm -hmm. but we like to have members at large that just kind of pitch in here and there and then they may say hey i'd like to go through the chairs i'd like to do that but you know we need people at you know all these events you know we have parade marshals that walk up and down with right the, you know, in like this year is a little tough because our normal people were involved because we had three years of nothing. So we had a lot of regular volunteers that were in the that were in the, yeah, the events I saw that. and I, just yeah. wanted to like you know if they ran the dance if they sat at the table to dance, they wanted to go to the dance because sure. guess what it was my it was my fifty fifth or it was my you know so mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. always need volunteers 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 volunteers. So listen, yes, Dallas Falls, Dallas Falls alumni dot org. Um, has our emails on there, so you can email any of the officers, um, and there's the website. Oh, um, great. But email any of the officers. We love volunteers. You know, it, it's, it's not easy all the time, mm-hmm. but it is mm-hmm. rewarding. Yep. And, and I guess a shout-out to the, the gallagher Obahowski family. Yes. For, she's a, I mean, Marty was a, was a judge. She Megan was a judge. Was a judge. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea was in the in the parade. She's that uh, class. I won't tell me what they're building next year. Oh, they yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll get it out of them sooner than <laughs> they later. They seem excited. I saw they put yeah. posting stuff. Yeah. Um, Paul was in the parade, yeah. and then at the he's always singing at the at the meeting. He right? is yes. Um, <laughs> to use junior now seniors now, uh, you know he he gets them. He just he has that passion. He's. I don't know how many years in a row. I know I graduated in 94, and he did it then. I yeah, don't think yeah. he's missed a beat other than the two <laughs> COVID years. But he's the one that sings the school song at the meeting. Yeah. So anyway, a uh, shout-out to that With family. With enthusiasm beyond belief. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure there are other families that are just yes. as involved. I just don't know. Yeah, no, really there are. Way. I mean, there are. We've got Doug McPhee, who's our – he's our, quote-unquote, official photographer. Yes. He oh, takes I all the pictures. There, yeah. Um, yeah, the parades, all that kind of He's stuff. He's a fountain so. of information, too. Oh, I, he, I was stood next to him for a while at the parade, and he just knew yeah. everybody and everything. He and does. Yes, yeah, so it's great. He has that history. Shout out to him. Yeah. All right. Well, that's about all the time we have. Awesome. I want to thank you, Chad, well, for coming on. And thank I, you for having us. We'll yeah. probably meet again next year. Well, I hope alumni even before that. Fame. Maybe there's something yeah. else that's happening. We can yeah. do a call for volunteers yeah. and see what's happening. Yeah. But anyway, that's it for this week on the feed. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye, community.